This video is not for the sensitive hoes. The ones who can't take anyone else's opinions except for their own. If you can't have a mature conversation, then darling, this video is not for you. You will be blocked immediately. Now remember to keep it cute, keep it mute, or get the boot. Now preparing to nanny port to Nina's raw view. In 3, A2, A1. I'm Nina, Bro Nina Brown, and you are now watching the Nina channel. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm at the shop. I'm gonna get my hair done. This is my, this is definitely good times, y'all. <laughs> and she put in, I was more skin. So yeah, I will see y'all in a second. So, y'all gonna see when the wrap is off, but she got my scalp bleeding. That's how tight it is. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. So y'all get your hair done, honey. I'll get all the information and all that stuff. So I'm gonna go to the barber shop now. Everybody, this is my barber team. They come with such a shocker. <laughs> if you mess my hair up, y'all know who did it. <laughs> so guys, I'm in the nail salon now. I'm getting a petty and a mani. And as I'm driving in the parking lot, I heard a rude woman say, Why are you here? And I guess who it was? Oh, she's a get a life. And it was her. <laughs> that woman who still has not done rob you yet. And then, and, and, and then I asked her. Right, and then I asked her, I said, You should go ahead and rob me today. She's like, or oh, I have a babysit. <laughs> At least she didn't say duck in the walls this time. We are getting the feet done, honey, okay? We can't go to LA having a funk to five feet, okay? Okay. Now I know I told her I told her hot, but goddamn. <laughs> I slept. No, did I sleep? No. Does that happen to y'all too? When you have a flight or whatever, or you know you have to get up early, the next morning you just can't sleep because you're anxious and it ruins your, your day. Oh. I'm now dressed, heading to the airport. Bye. Hey y'all, so I am at the airport, in the airport. It was a kind of a hassle to get in. My first time doing like pre-check-in and digital. So it was kind of a headache, so. But I'm in now and going to the gate or towards the gate. And um, yeah, I check in. So I could have got on the train, but that's what lazy hoes do. So I'm walking to my contours. I am now getting to the plane. It was delayed. So yeah, wish me luck. Walking to my seat. I'm not in the back today with Rosa Parks. <laughs> Airport bathroom, realness. Now taken off, I will see you guys in LA. Y'all hear that? They say that it's the engine that makes that noise and that it's normal, but I'm like, that don't 
not sound normal. So guys, I had a decent flight besides some scary engine noises, but I had the best riding partner, Toya. She's the one who I who kept sleeping over there. Uh -huh, she was sleeping and I was, uh huh, that's her. Thank you so much for real. You were so awesome. Thank you. Take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay, so as I said, we just landed. That was Toya who you met. And now I am heading to baggage claim. I don't even know when my ride's supposed to be here. I'm so used to Ronaldo being the help me. Now I'm just by myself. So yeah, I'm going to see if I'm going to have my baggage go there and then see if my ride will be ready. So guys, I'm in the car now. Thank you, God. Everybody meet Sean Dahmer. No relations to Jeffrey. <laughs> so if anything happens, y'all know. Okay, on the way to the hotel. I made it, thank you, Jesus. Y'all should thank him. He's the one that got me here. That's Sean, okay? Sean Knapp. Not nappy here as in black people, but Knapp, K-N-A-P-P. -P. Going down to the Beverly Center. <laughs> I am back in LA, y'all. Can y'all believe it? Am I here for a secret All-Stars lip sync assassin? I don't know. Find out on All-Stars 9. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Some of y'all not gonna remember this book on Brandy's album. She had a part with an interlude and she was talking about uh, Rodney Jerkins. She said, what's up, Rodney? We're gonna go meet Jay-Z. Oh, not Jay-Z. <laughs> We're gonna meet Ray J at the Babylon Center. Hey, y'all see you showing that Ray J joint in the background there. Yeah, me and Joy about to go meet him up at the Babylon Center. Oh, <laughs> yeah, where Rodney at? Oh, you guys, fellow queens who want to get booked by Sean Knapp. You two could have such delegates. Is that a word? <laughs> So how mad would you be if I wanted to spice this place up a little bit and I added a little bit of Kool-Aid in there? Kool-Aid? You don't mind? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gotta spice it up some. So guys, we are going, look, look at that dog just resting and posing on her owner. So cute. We're gonna be walking down the strip of LA, waiting on Sean to pay. Okay, we going there. <laughs> What kind of evil, sinful things are going on in that store? I see junk scraps and uh, kind of stuff. <laughs> I mean, I can wear it for my poodle look. <laughs> I am wearing red and white. D are you into junk scraps though? Yeah. Girl, what gay muscle queen is working out on this? Who? Who? Cameron Michaels? Who's <laughs> You're really not. <laughs> You're really not though, for real though, seriously. I, oh, what did I just step in? Come. I can't. <laughs> welcome to the, welcome to LA. Oh my God, it's really on my. <laughs> How are you? I'm. I was good until I stepped in gum. <laughs> so now I'm breaking it in your store. <laughs> well, <laughs> what do you know? I'm like. I like that. That's cool. Well, oh yeah, that's cute. That is really. <laughs> So y'all, this is my room. I'll show y'all. It seems very apartment-y, right? Like, so on the hotel site, it has like one of those like sit-in deep tubs or a shower. I guess I, I guess I, I guess I don't have the shower. I mean the, the tub, unfortunately. Closet. See that this is isn't this very apartment? Then you got the beds. The mirror's cute.
<sighs> so guys, I was like, okay, I'm gonna go to the pool. You know, I'm gonna live my Caucasian fantasy. Y'all know I don't swim, that's not my gig. And you know, he got his new freshly pedicure toes done. But that's the pool, but it's chilly out here. And I'm like, I ain't trying to get sick, bitch. So never mind. <laughs> like I legit was gonna live my life. I was gonna live my, my by the sauna life child, by the pool life. <laughs> I know I look a mess, but I forgot to record like me getting back because friend David asked me to come out. So I'm like, let me go out there and support the club a little bit, but I should have just stayed. I am tired. Like it's 1.33 or so over here in LA, which means it's like five o'clock AM where I live in Georgia. So yeah, it's catching up. I will see y'all tomorrow. Good morning. Day two, today's show day. I am gonna go downstairs. I always never get breakfast from hotels because I'm always going to bed. But I have complimentary breakfast. I hope it's complimentary good. We'll find out when I get downstairs. So let's see what the girls are giving in breakfast. What are they giving? Let's see. Well, nobody's in here. Hello, How are you? All good. Don't mind my, my recording. Okay, so I guess I sit down and then they give me a breakfast, I guess. Okay, that's fish. 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 <laughs> oh, shite. Did somebody say fish and chips? Fish. So, guys, this is my fancy Caucasian breakfast. I didn't know it was going to be this much, though. Oh, my God. Damn. This is a lot of food. Oh. She's working out fish. Working out fish. Working out what? Working out fish. Working out. Working out fish. Working out. Working out fish. Working out. Working out. Working out. Working out fish. Working out. Working out. Working out fish. Working out. Working out. Working out fish. Working out. Working out. Working out. Working out. Working out. Working out. Okay, so y'all know I have the phone horizontally, how I should be, but it's vertical right now because I'm literally about to get ready and I just wanted to record and say I'm, I'm doing that. Cause I already have my phone set up on this mirror. I'm scared to move it cause it'd be hard to put it how I have it now. But I'll see y'all in a few. Oh. <laughs> the drama, the drama. Well, Paul, this is the dog look again. I forgot my gloves. Oh gosh, but oh well. Oh, oh, don't mind me. I'm just getting a tan. You know, being in LA, it's the thing to do. Oh, I'll see you guys later. Oh, we should have came to the show. <laughs> Oh my God, we are here at the WNBA NACCP basketball game and they hired me to be their cheerleader. So I want to do a little cheer. Okay, oh, for sure. All the boys are my boys, for sure. Go, go, Scar! Go boys! Let me 
show you. Yeah. Let me take you to a place I know you wanna go. It's a good life. Yeah. Shatandra. From high school, girl. Oh, I don't remember her. She bullied me. The one that used to eat the Cheetos with Kool-Aid. Oh, definitely remember okay, her. Okay, okay. Get what she was buying, girl. What? You ain't gonna believe her. What? You ain't gonna believe her. What? Diapers for the third time. I cannot. I cannot. Again, honey. Again. Again, girl. Mm. So anyway, I was saying to her. <gasps> So yeah, y'all, the show was, I don't care. Is this? Weird, weird, weird. What fan, bitch? The one that holds all the blocking power. Hey, please. Yes. <laughs> Wait, is it the shade fan? Wait, it's not the shade It's not. <laughs> <laughs> he gets checks. <laughs> but I look crazy right now, y'all. So yeah, we, the show was okay. It was a show. It was amazing. Anyway, he's a messy guy. Lies. <laughs> it was okay for me, but they, but they liked it. But yeah, I'll talk with y'all after I get clean. So, heading to Mickey's. Guess who's gonna be there? Jasmine Masters. Uh huh. She can't run this time, bitch. I'm coming to get you, girl. <laughs> Look at Robert smoking black. With Tina. <laughs> Guys, I actually see Jasmine Master. Her chin is big in real life. Good morning, guys. <clears throat> Y'all, yeah, you see how you hear how tired I sound? I am. Day three, I believe. I'm so tired. Last night. Cause y'all know I'm more of a homebody these days as far as like not going to the club. Drag shows kind of bore me these days. I don't know, like just watching drag. I'm like, how are y'all into drag? I get bored watching shows, but we went to Mickey's. Not saying that they were boring, but I think I just, in general, you know, just kind of like bar wise, kind of over it. But yeah, but besides that, it was okay. Um, and I actually hung out later because some guy, <laughs> who ended up being a really nice guy, but like literally kept me outside. I'm like, I think he's flirting. <laughs> so me and my friend Robert and then him were just like standing outside the LA, like the WeHo strip, whatever. Like talking, I'm like, sir, like I'm hungry, I'm tired. What do you want? Do you want to sleep with me? Like, <laughs> and he ended up coming to the, to the hotel and he was nice. Like, we, we really just cuddled, for real, good cuddler. Um, and it was that. And today, I think we're trying to do. Oh, real quick, what, what, what made me interested in him is that I normally never meet anybody just out and about. It's always like an app, so that kind of threw me off. But anyway, today we're supposed to be going to Disneyland. Look outside; it's still gray and nasty. Ew. But yeah, we'll see. Hey guys, I am heading to the Magic Kingdom with no magic, and of course. I'm black, but somehow this person right here is on black full time. 
again. So yes, we're heading there. We're late. It's gray outside. It's ugly. But Robert's in the back seat. Then we got his his lover, Steven. And then we have my, a real life lesbian. I've never seen one in real life. <laughs> Say hi to Julian. Yeah, she, isn't she pretty and handsome at the same time? She's like an actress to me. But yeah, so we're heading to Disney and then I'll check in with y'all. Bye. We leave. So we made it to the park. As a courtesy and now we're going on our little trolley we ask that to the no main eating, park. Drinking or smoking we're all on here. Board. Oh. Okay. Say hi. Sean, are you happy to be in Disney? I am. Where's your hat? My hat, I'm sitting on it. Same. I'm going to go steal him one. Okay. <laughs> But well, we're getting ready to go into California side first, and then we're going to Disneyland, which is over there. So, see you, Mickey. Oh, is this a horror attraction? Y'all, I'm actually seeing the Ferris wheel thing in person. And the co incredible coaster. Robert, thank you for coming out with me today. Oh, look at us having an experience together. Guys, we're getting on the Little Mermaid ride. Will Holly Bailey be there? Find out, who knows? I wanna be where the black people are. <laughs> I wanna see, wanna see them pimping. We're on a ride together, Little Mermaid. That's not Holly. His mouth is not matching the words at all. <laughs> oh, he doesn't know the words. I want to know. Oh, there goes Ariel. Hey, sis. What you call that thing? A condo. Mama, where your lips been? Sebastian. Under the sea. Ow, 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 ow. Oh no. Don't take my voice. Take him instead. <laughs> uh oh. They were kidding when they called me well a witch. Snappy! Wait, it looks scary, man. That's kind of cute, though. It was kind of real. Uh, oh, we need a beer. Daddy! <laughs> what a fire! What a fire! It's the eyebrow for me. Congratulations! You have plenty of babies! That was so beautiful. Look at Bonquisha, she don't give two fucks. That was the worst for me. 
Oh, that was so funny. That's cute. <laughs> I don't even look like you. I can't. You guys, look at this. So, what is this? It looks so good. So I'll try it for y'all while I hold the phone. Oh, yeah, 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 thank you. I'm talented, girl. I'm actually hold it. <laughs> I know that's talented. Oi, Church. It's good. Eagle. Ow. Eagle. <laughs> okay, so we're heading to the galaxy. Robert's being a good team member while I'm dead and drained and depressed. One step closer to your exciting encounter with the Guardians of the Galaxy. Of course I escaped. For those of you who have not been paying attention, the name's Rocket. You guys, we are on the Guardians of Galaxy. AKA the Tower of Terror, because that's what right. it should be. Right. I don't know when it's going to drop. I don't know if my phone will hit the ceiling. But we'll see. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh my god. We're not done yet. No. 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 <laughs> so guys, now we're getting on the web. Web slingers. Web slingers, y'all. Okay, we have a plan. Guys, we are in, what is it called? The super... Hero store with no super. And so, isn't that cute? I want a hat too, but I'm like, I can't. We're in the Disney store right next to the Beverly Center. Don't y'all want to give me this for $399? It's chump change. Y'all can afford it. A small way, yeah, whatever. <laughs> oh, these are nice too. Kind of wooden like things. Yeah, that's really nice. I know. A what? $1,400? I cannot. Oh, that is so cute. That is cute. I know. That is really cute. That is pretty. Oh, oh, she looks great too. Oh my God. I would literally buy that, but Ellen and them, they, they're not going to take care of it. Oh, she means business, huh? She said, if y'all come in this store, honey, spend money, girl. She gonna fight you, girl. <laughs> you see her plus size model mannequin fish. Okay. <laughs> that looks like Cam. <laughs> this looks like you, Cam. <laughs> and yo, Robert, where we going? I thought we were going to Mickey's house. And what did he cook? I hope he made marinara spaghetti. You look so good. Thank you. I'm extra though. Thank you. <laughs> you should be.
Look at these little graduation hats. They're so cute. Fucking duck. Oh my girl, she could never. In her her heel, you know, fit her feet properly. Oh my mini girl, you could never be Nina Mouse. You will never be Nina Mouse, honey. I am home with your man, girl. Exactly. Over there, four foot tall and silver claws. <laughs> Can never. Oh, Nina, Bo Nina, Banana, Fosanna, Osama, Ben Laden Brown. Boom, boom, boom. You look like Julie Andrews. Her name's Tilly. Tilly, if you can hear me and you need help, blink love. We're going to Adventureland with no adventure. We're hanging by the fire, by the tiki. In the ring of fire. The ring of fire. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You see the treasure of mother. I love for us trying not to get with it, but yeah, we didn't get with it. Oh god, no. 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 no.
wake up. Wake up. Ooh. Time for your party, boy. Yay. Happy birthday. These are all for you, Pooh Bear. So y'all, it's day, what, day three? It is, day three, Robert's here, I'm here. Remember that drunk guy y'all met the other night? He's here, turn around drunk guy, Say hello. <laughs> well anyway, we're on our way to Nintendo World. Oh my God, we're going to Nintendo World, we're gonna make our, our controllers. Okay. How are we gonna play? Fine, it's your first time here. He's there. Rock the red carpet. Okay. It's your time. No, for walking. <laughs> Ow. You see it? I've never seen that. Before. It's so good. Y'all, this is David, photographer to the stars. You can't miss them. <laughs> We're in Simpsons World. Y'all, when I tell y'all this is the best, I, I'm not kidding, the best theme park food I've ever had, Cleta Shack right here. This is it, you guys. This is it. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, the little the little stump stump thing going up and down, the little pal thing. Here we go, off the rails. Picking it up really, but like it looks like me. It does. I, oh wow! <laughs> wow! Oh my God! I'm in a Nintendo world. You guys, we are so lucky. It said 60 minutes, wait, maybe it is. No. What's all over there? It said 60 minutes for the ride. We literally got here in six minutes. <laughs> There's nothing. We got through. This is so cool, y'all. Destiny's Mario children. <laughs> oh my god, guys. We're next. Yippee! Oh, we're Daisy. We have the Daisy cart. Oh my god. David, what do you think? I'm gonna follow. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. One out of ten. Seven. What do you give it? One out of ten. A zero? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Well, I'm gonna give it a seven as well. A six or seven, yeah. But it should have went faster. Because in a game, it's like fast. You guys, it was okay. Like, the scenery was beautiful. Don't wait for y'all for the ride or five hours, none of that. But we waited 20 minutes and I would ride it again with somebody who hasn't been on before. But I had to literally hold the um, the um, 3D glasses because it didn't come down my face. It was kind of blurry, but it was okay. 
They <laughs> called it. Right, what, what's it called again? Super. Some squash. <laughs> that was squash something. Same. Save it. Gina Thompson something. What do you think so far about Nintendo World so far? Too many kids. I know. But it doesn't look great. It's cute. Right. I love it. I love it. It's great. Are we excited about the Mario Kart ride or are we just like, eh. yeah, yeah. <laughs> You see where I get my depression from. <laughs> Robert, what do you think? I think it's so cute. The castle, the one with the bus, oh my God, I love it. But it's but so cute. It is, it's, it's very colorful. So, y'all have to come. Yeah, have yeah. To come. But he didn't get a watch. Look at our watches. We're cousins. Mine is my shirt. That's I'm gonna get rid of this. Y'all look at this small ass food. Oh, it's cute though. But look at that pathetic hamburger. The bread looks hard. I didn't know like, it was hard. Yeah. Oh, yeah. it is? Mamma mia. Okay, they all. $27. $27, y'all, for this small. I don't think it's worth it. I've been practicing, I'm a voice actor. Your Margaret, go inside the quickie mod. Give me a, uh uh, wait, wait, wait. Give me a pickle with a hot sauce and a little bit of um, vinegar to go for my tacos tomorrow. Go ahead, get it for me. Thank you, Margaret. I tell you, she's a good woman. Okay. Her man hates her, though. <laughs> 
Yeah. We're going to want to use one of our H3 friendly sets that we have over here on the right. Even though these are just as fake as that one, real glass. And so they're able to use the same sets over and over again without you recognizing it. Without you recognizing it. They can literally rip the sidings off the buildings and put brand new sidings up, and it totally changes the look. Without you recognizing it. They can brand new sidings up, and it totally changes the look. About being a place of Oh my god! <laughs> They can come out here, paint these buildings any color they want. Because for the most part, it wasn't CGI. Steven Spielberg loved practical effects. So, the majority of the dinosaurs that you saw were physically in the scenes, too. We call this Colonial Street. And you watch Never Have I Ever. Right I can see me moving here. Right. Three kids and a dog. And a husband named Terry. Like, I legit want to live here. I'm almost like, is the sky real? <laughs> right, it looks like it's like. Right. I'm like, I'm like, I don't know. Uh, okay, I definitely did not think that Norman Bates would actually be here. What's he doing? Oh, that's not good. Uh, okay, you know what? Maybe he won't see us. Okay, stop waving. Stop, he's definitely gonna see you guys. Oh, okay, Norman, you just okay. Never mind, he's gonna knife. Norman, where are you going, buddy? Oh my God. Oh, I don't like the way the Edith sets ever built. Not only was it dreamt up by one of the greatest directors of all time, Steven Spielberg. It's a perfect example of a set that is what is the same as them goes down right in a big neighborhood. There, look into the winking well and have your picture taken just like the kids in that old 90s movie kid show. The whole place is loosely based on it. Remember that one? It is smack dab in the center of the UFO hotspot. Action. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, love. Oh, how sad. These people. They don't have express. <laughs> oh, just walking past the commoners. These poor people. Oh, oh. Cock a doodle doo, bitch. <laughs> right. I'm talented. I've been doing this for years. Oh. Right, yeah. Yeah, Really? I can't be to ride at the bathhouse. <laughs> I could have kept my hat on. Imagine waiting three hours for the <laughs> Right, and then, uh, right. These biscuits from last time, they were so good. He has the waffle. Okay, Greg. Oh. He was giving it to me. I want to see your reaction. I wanted your honest reaction. Cause I, I boosted about how good the food is, but he, they was, David is, is picky. I, I thought I was picky. No, I'm not picky, I'm picky, particular. But he's picking, you know, he's picking. I got, because I don't like mayonnaise. I got wet ranch. Buddy likes cum. Oh. Hurry up, we're recording. This is just slow motion. Right. <laughs> the, whole, the whole garden. He's acting, he can't get in his mouth. <laughs> Are you dying? Are you, do you hate it? the waffle tastes like a waffle waffle. Okay. Yeah, like with syrup and stuff. Right. But so it's not bad. No, it's good. Right. What do you think? Good. Okay. Try the, chicken. Try the chicken. Let me know what you think. He's acting. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's different. I don't know. Try the biscuit or a piece of it. You could have got, got a bigger piece. Give you more honey too. That's yeah. Good. So unfortunately, this time the food was not good. I don't know what happened. I don't know. And it's so sad because I really bragged to everybody about how good this theme park food is from Cleta Shack. And I have like about five or six people who could vouch for that. It was awesome. It was really amazing. This time, I don't know what happened. The fries were different. The chicken was like, it was cooked again. It was hard. Um, and then I actually got the manager. I put in my Kieran wig. And she even agreed that they've been changing recipes and they've been trying to find the right thing. They've been changing things around. I don't know why they changed it, 
but she didn't give my money back, so I'm so disappointed. Donna, yeah. And I'm going home now. So, Mom, you said I would never move out. I found an apartment down in East Hall. The rent is high, but what can I say? I'm making a living. So, I'm at home. These are my dogs. Coco and Rufus. Trained yourself. I love you, man. You pull that for mama? <laughs> this is why I'm a dog person. Oh. <laughs> oh. We're gonna get adopted. Oh. Oh. Excuse you, Rufus. You got me wet. Oh. 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 They want to adopt us. Take me. He's not clean. He's not clean. He has sex. He has sex. No. Take me. Take me. Oh, she's so cute. She is so cute. I want her in sign of me. Wait, what? Hey, look. It's thing one and thing two. And then when you put them on and your thing comes to the middle, then you got thing three. <laughs> well, that has been it. The journey of Universal Studios Hollywood. We had her up, we had her down. Thank you, David. Thank you, Robin. Signing out, Pierre, Nina Mina Brown, Peace. Do I look tired? Yes. Do I sound tired? Yes. Am I tired? Yes. Back in the hotel, getting ready for bed. Y'all know I have a flight in the morning, leaving LA, but y'all have a good night. See you in the morning. Well, it's over. <coughs> I don't lost count of my days. Is it day four or day five? I don't even know. <laughs> yes, I'm wearing the same thing because, bitch, I am. And I want to be warm on the flight because y'all know it'll be freezing. So guys, I am checking out of the Lapeer Hotel and waiting for my ride to come, if he ever comes. But yeah, um, I think the best part of the hotel, besides them not having roaches, was a nice, a nice young man named Noah. That's right. Very nice. Like I had to really like tip him because, not because of like, he didn't do much, but because he's a nice personality, he's a nice guy. So if y'all check into this hotel, I hope Noah takes care of y'all and y'all's car and everything and doesn't steal it. Thank you, Noah. Right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm getting to the airport. I am late. And thank you get them once here. again. That's it. Where can they follow you? Wait, what? Yeah, follow me on Instagram at n.javk. N.javk. He's a good guy, y'all. Really good guy. Take care of yourself. I'll see you. Take care. Drive safe. Okay. So tall. Hey, guys. So I am in the LA Lex airport heading back to Georgia and I ran into a beautiful couple Miss Connie and Jerry and they said they had their first drag show in Bozeman Montana 10 years since they had a drag show how about I get booked there and I can see them they've been together nine years and we're gonna wish them many more years of success health and prosperity thank y'all for y'all entering We're back in Atlanta. I'm on the train now, heading to get my baggage. Then I'll get home. I am home, guys. I know I'm losing my voice. I'm like, I hope Ho didn't get the COVID. 
You know, nowadays when you get a little sneeze, you something, you scratch your leg, I think it's COVID. But yeah, thank you, uh, Sean, for the booking and yeah, give me a chance. Hope we work together again. Thank you everybody that came to the shows. I appreciate you guys that supported me and the pageant and the event itself. And um, thank you, Robert, for the help. And um, also getting on my nerve. Thank you, David Lab, for the support and coming to Universal with us. And uh, yeah, thank you everybody that, that supported. And um, yeah, until the next trip, we'll see when, you know, who knows? But um, yeah, stay beat, stay beautiful. Most importantly, stay blessed. Kima Cho or Kimochi, bye. Guys, so I am just got back from watching The Little Mermaid. I know I'm just adding this. It was pretty good. You know, for me, there were some parts that kind of dragged, but I'll talk more about that. So, I wasn't sure if I was going to put this in the beginning of the video or in the end of the video, but if it's the end, yeah. Um, so, as you know, we're going to speak about The Little Mermaid. Um, but yeah, for most of y'all that have been around, some of y'all know I have like an infatuation with mermaids. And I'm one of those weirdos that do think they could possibly exist. I've been infatuated with mermaids since I was like younger. You know, just like fairy tale things in general, but cause they all have, they all have to come from somewhere, some source, right? And especially me being from South Carolina, like Myrtle Beach area, even though I can't swim, but I always was kind of like interested in what's in the ocean, kind of scared of the ocean. Nobody has ever been that deep in the ocean to really know, even to this day with all this technology, none of us know. But one of my favorite mermaid movies, before we travel on down to Little Mermaid, one of my favorite mermaid movies, and most of y'all know, is Splash with Daryl Hannah and Tom Hanks. Oh, such a classic movie. It's so classic. It's so beautiful. I love the soundtrack, especially at the end. One, I, I, I will hold this on just everything. everything. Still, Still to this day, day and, and this is like, like that was like 1980 something. something. That, that is one of the most realistic, realistic mermaid, mermaid tales, tales that, that I have ever personally seen, seen ever. They have, uh, we've seen plenty of other Little Mermaid things come out, right? Little Mermaid shows on Hulu, which I can't think right now, oh my God. But it is like, there's like a, a cool mermaid shows on Netflix or Hulu. I watched the whole series. The girl who's the actress who plays the mermaid or the siren, she has a very like fish-like look. She's very pretty, but very mysterious. Some of y'all will know, let me know down below. But all that was like a lot of CGI. Splash, if y'all have not seen Splash, I recommend it, seriously. Yeah, it's old, it may look old and outdated, but like, it's so good. But enough of that. We are gonna travel and swim, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, down to the Little Mermaid live action movie that has finally released and I took myself to go see it this past Thursday. Um, let me know, do y'all theaters do things where like they release the movie like kind of the day before the official release. Oh, so, yeah, as y'all know, I was on a booking slash little vacay and I literally had already booked my Little Mermaid tickets like a weeks ago because I'm the kind of person who wanna sit like not too close, not too far in the back, unless you have a date, but like right in the middle, like that middle, middle, everybody had took all the good seats for all the certain times. So I, ch I found a time around 9.30 p.m. Um, XD, and now mind you, I was already jet lagged from the flight, but I still had to come in and go to the movies, but I made it. Just wanted to give y'all a little like rehash of what was going on, my process of seeing this movie. Okay, so as we know, this movie has been on people's minds and mouths for a couple of years now. You know, in fact, Holly, she auditioned for it like when she was like about five years ago or so, five or six years ago. And it's so funny because she just auditioned and they didn't, they, she kind of got one little feedback, a little, little call and that was it. And then she kind of forgot about it. And then out of the blue, she got the call that, you know, she got the role, she got the part. It feels amazing. I 
I've been working on this film for a very long time. This was five years of my life. Five years? Yeah, I auditioned when I was 18. And I See, people like that, they're so into that industry that they just audition. Uh, audition is a, is, a, is, a, is a dime a dozen. They just do it all the time. You know, for me, I could, like, if I don't get one role, I'm about to like, break down and have a heart attack. <laughs> they just keep going, though. And for her to have did that, and she was like, what, teenager? And now she's like, you know, her like early 20s. It just goes to show how long it takes to do these movies. And I'm quite sure with Little Mermaid, Venus Underwater, and all that kind of stuff, it takes a lot of like editing and stuff. But God dang, that's a long time. I could not stay quiet that long. Me personally, no. Everybody would have knew that I was Ariel. <laughs> Speaking of that, and y'all can go watch my other videos and stuff. But like, yes, you know, there's been a lot of backlash, a lot of racism towards her being the Ariel. You know, as I said before, I don't think that everybody who isn't black um, is coming from a place of racism when it comes to them just stating that, oh, we would like for her hair to be more red. Or, you know, we was hoping to see the mermaid that we remember from the cartoon. Because I am I was one of those people. Like, it's just, it is one of those things like when you grow up with something, and then they're like, oh, we're gonna make a live action. You kind of want to see it exactly how it is. Like whether it's a video game, a movie, you know, whatever the case is. So when it was like, oh, I was like, oh, you know, but that was it. But there are a lot of people who are coming from racist place. And, you know, I talked about that, about that before. And surprisingly, it's more so, you know, a lot of Latino Hispanic people. That's another story. Anyway, and not only that, you know, Melissa McCartney had got a lot of scrutiny for being Ursula. They were like, why her? Why not a drag queen? Why not da 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 da? And it's like, I was already like down for her. I'm like, I'm sure she'll be good. I'm sure she'll be good. And she delivered. So here's the deal. I'll whip up a little potion to make you human for three days. Now the makeup, no. That's the thing with like Hollywood for the most part and like Disney, they don't seem to really care about fabulous makeup. They get the most basic makeup, makeup artists and I guess because they rely on the CGI and stuff, they don't care. But I wish she did look more sickening, more sinister. Which she did look sinister, you know, towards the end, like in the cartoon, this, this is no spoilers. When she gets really big, she looked horrifying. So I kind of just want to go down a little bit. I'm trying to remember everything. It's been like, what, two days now or so? I've been so busy trying to edit and get this jet lag away and rest. But um, I want to try to start with like, opening and like trying to compare it to the cartoon and things that I can remember right so just the opening you know was very it was pretty much similar to the cartoon but when it showed the sisters come in oh uh, when it showed Tamika which <laughs> I'm sorry you know, Tamika's kind of a ghetto name a little bit you know no offense to any Tamika's out there but it was just so funny to see King Triton and be like the Seven Daughters of the Sea. I don't know to make some names up. Amethyst, Rudolph, Tamika. <laughs> but when they showed her float up in that blue, oh! I said, oh! Cause I just think mermaid tails are gorgeous. I thought Ariel's tail was gorgeous, but oh my God. Her tail, she probably had the best looking tail throughout the movie. Like it was just, the colors were so vibrant. Oh, it was so beautiful. Wow, like it really inspired me to kind of want to do drag again. I say kind of. Um, <laughs> so that's the one thing I want to give. I'm gonna give this movie is that it really they really did a good job at making some very beautiful, colorful tales. Some of the sisters they didn't really show too much, but to me, Tamika kind of stays on my mind. Um, so it kind of shows that. Speaking of King Triton, who is played by Javier Bottom. He definitely had King Triton's nose, like you know that you know that kind of that that like almost like Roman Greek kind of hump nose that goes down like that. He had the nose right, but I didn't like the design of him. It the tail, I didn't care for the tail. I thought he was probably too slim. Acting wise, he was okay, but like I didn't really buy him as Triton. I really didn't. So it, it kind of opens with all of that, and then you know it kind of goes to the part where like. You know, they're looking for Ariel. Where's Ariel? Where is she? You know, just like in the cartoon and Sebastian can't find her. Sebastian. I didn't really care for the design, especially the eyes. The eyes were just almost, almost like the, the body was like realistic, but then the eyes were so fake. And like, just like with the Lion King, it's hard to really emote these live action animals and their faces emoting, right? So 
And the voice kind of was going in and out for me. Like sometimes he would sound Jamaican and other times he didn't really. But he was still okay though. I did like his version of Under the Sea. It was pretty good. It was cool. The way that's the thing. They we did a lot of songs, but they kinda like would add in their own little funk to it, their own little uh to it. She's, you know, Ariel is being Ariel. She's trying to find gigamajiggers and doodle bliggers and all the things she likes to find. And Flounder. Okay, I know a lot of y'all hated Flounder, but I think Flounder was kind of cute in a way. Of course, the cartoon one is better because that's the thing about this movie as well. This is another, like, maybe not downfall, but I didn't really care about Flounder in this live action movie as I did in the original cartoon. I don't think his role was that important. Um, in fact, it actually really showed Sebastian and Scuttles the most. Which, Scuttles, I know I'm going back and forth, but I'm getting it all out. Scuttles was kind of cool, kind of funny, maybe a little scary looking at first. Her song, I told y'all I'm going back and forth. Her song, though. Hey, have you not heard that Scuttle by? Your butt. No, remember that swamp? Remember my song in the swamp when I was like, wham, chicka, wham, wham, chicka, wham. The scuttle, whatever it's called, the scuttle something she called it. It was like a rap kind of trap kind of thing. I actually liked her song because they had a couple of new songs on the movie, right? And I think her song was really good. I, I, I wouldn't mind hearing that again. So, Holly, okay. A lot of us were like hoping that maybe they would add in a little bit of CGI with the hair. A little bit to make it a little brighter. <clears throat> Speaking of CGI, I feel like sometimes there's a lot of CGI. Like sometimes they will look pretty decent and other times I'm like, yeah, it's CGI. Like as far as the mermaid and how they were looking and stuff. And I meant to say, besides the sisters and like Triton and Ariel and stuff, they, they didn't really show too much of like a mermaid city of like a bunch of mermaids just living. Kind of kind of towards the end, but not like through the movie. So it's kind of lacking in the ocean. And I already knew that Holly's hair wasn't really going to be red because I remember seeing like leaked photos and I said, Mama got on her honey blonde Beyonce wig. And I get it, like her skin tone is like golden brown. Maybe they couldn't find the right kind of red, I don't know. Cause even me trying to Google like red locks, it's hard to find red locks. You no, know, besides like the burgundy color, but like red locks. And then once I did find, look a mess. But I'm sure somebody could make them, right? But anyway, she definitely has the voice of a princess. She does, she has the voice of a princess, she does. And I think that's part of the reason why she got picked. I meant to add, yeah, in fact, like, honestly, um, I feel like I was made so watching somebody who was mimicking Ariel versus me watching Ariel, if that makes sense. Somebody who definitely has the voice can sing like her, but not sure if I really truly got Ariel from Holly, per se, if that makes any sense. Anybody can really understand what I'm saying with that. I kind of like the black girlness to it a little bit because you kind of have a little little attitude to a little umph, you know, and a little but still but still maintaining that kind of innocent thing about her. The environments were kind of dark, unfortunately, they were. But because we know they're like it's live action, so under the ocean wouldn't be that bright. But then once again, it's a Disney movie, so they could have made it a little more fantasy, which they kind of did during Sebastian's song. That part was very beautiful. It was still a little dull, but it was beautiful. Like, she was so cute in that part. Oh my God, like, she just was, she knew she was everything, girl. She was just like giving face and the pink jellyfish and the part where they were in the dark with the jellyfish. It was so, it was so beautiful. It was so beautiful. You know, she goes, of course, and does her moment, you know, of part of your world. And I heard little bits and pieces, but I never wanted to hear the whole thing until I saw the movie. And I can say I smiled. I did. I smiled like so wide. This when she was hitting some of those notes. I was like, oh, yes, Holly. I, 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 I think I actually said, yes. People in the um, audience were kind of like, yes. <laughs> you know, the black people showed up for Holly. They really did. And surprisingly, I was in the audience with like some kids. They were actually on their best behavior. Thank God. There were some, I noticed that she really likes to make sure you hear each word. That sometimes it kind of throws me off a little bit. So it's like, look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Like, like Versa just kind of just like flowing into it a little bit, but that's maybe the way she wanted to do it. What would I give if I could live out of these? 
um she does this one part where she kind of like grunts like you know that that grunt like i wanna like <laughs> that, that kind of thing i didn't really care for that that much but she's adding her own spin to it anyway those are just little things she murders that and pretty much you know it's a scene and then it goes into you know eric and all that kind of stuff and the boat and how she comes across him. And I always said, I said, I think he makes a good Eric. I think he definitely has Eric's dimples because Eric's known for his dimples, his blue eyes. And I thought he looked like Eric and I thought he was pretty good. His solo though, mm -mm. you know how I was saying that they added some new songs? His solo though was horrible. It was cringe. Like literally when it ended, people were quiet and looking like, and I was like, Cause they got rid of Sebastian's other song, the one with um the little like the chef guy that was trying to kill him with the little you know the the knife and everything, whatever that song goes. I don't know why they didn't add that and just not give Eric that song. It was so bad. I cut off their hands and I pour out their bones. I'm a weakness, I'm a dog. <laughs> anyway, but he was good. Now at first I was thinking, okay, now. <laughs> It showed his mom, you know, and then the guy that's like his like help, whatever. His mom is black. Now I said, now I know. We we we, we let y'all slide with the whole mermaid thing, but now you're doing too much. <laughs> like, what is this Brandy Cinderella again? Where it's an Asian prince, a white dad, and a black mom? What? But then it come to find out, I guess he was washed to to, to shore, and that's how they found him and made him prince. Mm -hmm. So pretty much as we, pretty much as y'all know, y'all know the story, you know, she falls in love, she wants to go to the shore, the dad doesn't want her to go, they have the fallout and all that kind of stuff. And then, you know, the Prince Eric thing, the ship breaks down and she helps him get to shore so he doesn't drown. That part, we all know that's like an infamous part of the movie. It was kind of cute. I still think the original cartoon version probably is better in that part. And probably because it's cartoons, so it's easier to do. Like, something about Ariel just coming up on that rock and the boom and that note. Part of your world. In fact, I want, to, I want y'all's opinion of this. That part where she's on the shore and then, and then the perfect timing of the wave hitting her. I thought Holly was probably a little off key. Just my opinion. It was like, like I feel like it was a little too high or something. So I don't know, I kind of did like the original Ariel's voice in that one, right? That's just my opinion, but it was still good. Speaking of Ariel, this is personal things. There were so many times where I was hoping they would put a little makeup on her. Yes, we get it there in the ocean, but I'm like, I, just a little blush, just a little, a little, a, a little cute little pinkish, rosy kind of like just something. Like I, I thought she kind of just looks too plain throughout the movie. Even at the end, you know, when they get, well, they didn't get really get married this time around, but you know, still the kind of thing with a big pink dress and stuff. I was hoping they would make her look glamorous, but they didn't do it. Anyway, so the part with her and Ursula, yes. Now I was hoping to see, you know how in the cartoon, Ursula turned the other merfolk to like those little like slimy, like sea creatures. They didn't have that this time. Like they only, it was like some kind of like starfish with like eyeballs. I don't know if they were mermaid people or what, but they were trying to get her whatever. And anyway, oh, Melissa killed it. She killed it. She killed, and it was funny too. She had her moments where she was like really serious and then really funny. Like she was like the part where like she's trying to find something and she's like, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, that's it. Oh, here he goes. You know. <laughs> She was just, and her poor unfortunate song was so good. Repentance in the light and let us switch through. Yes. It was so good. Um, a lot of people are saying that they made her a uh, octopus instead of a squid. Eh, whatever. And the difference is like, I guess she had blue kind of blue tentacle little suction cups versus purple. But whatever. The makeup already said that. Wasn't that good? Anyway. So instead of this time of Holly signing her voice away, she takes a piece of her fin off with blood 
to pretty much do that. I wonder if, that, is that, if that's in the original book. I'm not sure. Now, when she's washed ashore and stuff, you know, she's found in a ship and all that kind of stuff, and they take her to the castle and all that kind of stuff. During that part, you know, she can't speak or whatever, but they have another new song that they created that she did. I didn't like it. In fact, for me, the movie, for me, this is when I, I'm giving it like a seven or eight. I know I'm saying it too early, but I think that movie got really slow when she made it to land. I feel like in the beginning, it was really, it was very kind of like keeping me on my toes. But then when she got on land, it kind of fell a little flat for me. I didn't like some of the new songs that they were doing. The connection between Eric and Holly or Eric and Ariel, um, I kind of bought it a little bit. I kind of did, but then not really, but kind of. And then, you know, it's like kind of the same as the cartoon. Like, you know, they have these certain amount of days to get him to kiss her. But I don't, but I think this, y'all correct me if I'm wrong, this could be new, but Ursula added something to the potion to make Ariel herself forget that she had to get Prince Eric to kiss her. I don't think that was in the cartoon. I think that was something different. There's a really cute part where like Ariel's like, you know, they're, they're in the shopping plaza or whatever. And she comes across um, Jody, the Jody, Jody, Jody Bentley, the original voice of Ariel, and like she's and, and she's playing a character that works in the supermarket, so they're kind of like crossing paths. I thought that was really cute, very clever, paying homage. And they had another song there where they were like dancing her and Eric, and they were all doing this kind of like foot dancing, and I didn't care for that song either. Really, it was it was okay. The kiss the girl. Tell me, do you really want her? Sometimes you gotta kiss the girl. Don't say kiss the girl. Sha la 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 Anyway, that part was kind of cute though with like Scuttles and Flounder and Sebastian. It was kind of cute. It was kind of well done as well. That part was well done. And then, you know, Ursula getting mad because she almost failed and then she turns to Vanessa. Now, I was thinking, because for some reason in the cartoon, I thought that Vanessa was just a brunette version of Ariel, but kind of more of like these kind of like evil eyes. Maybe not, maybe maybe two, two different people. So I was thinking, were they gonna use Holly and make her look like evil or something? You know, but they, it was a, just a white girl. Well, she was cute, but when I think of Vanessa, I think about like boom, boom, body, body, boom, 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 face, 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 ow, ow, ow. Like, Eric, you want me, not Ariel. And she was okay, but her lip syncing and her acting to the part, especially when like Holly or Ariel snatches the seashell off the neck to get her voice back and she gets all mad and everything. That was, that part was pretty good. It was. Especially this one part where like it, show, it shows Vanessa, you know, it's just like in a cartoon where like Sebastian sends Scuttle to go find Ariel and then he happens to come across the room that Vanessa's in and he hears her singing or he thought he thinks it's Ariel. But I'm thinking that I'm thinking that was Holly who was sound, who made herself sound evil while she was singing. And if that was her, yes, ma'am. Cause you know, Holly had this very, I'm, I'm Holly Bailey. <laughs> but she really reached into her inner evil during some of those notes. And I was like, yes. <laughs> but as you know, just like in a cartoon, he kisses her too late. Ursula comes and swoops her down back into the ocean. King Triton comes, tries to come and tries to stop him. It seems like all is lost. And just like in the cartoon, when she gets really big, even in the cartoon, I always wonder like, what is taking her so long just to, just to kill Eric? Like she's literally stirring the trident around like she's making soup. I'm like, ma'am, just, just point it at him and shoot him. <laughs> you're, you're, you're giving them time to kill you, girl. And she, you know, just like in the cartoon, it's no spoilers, everybody by now has seen a Little Mermaid. My friends haven't seen it though, the one that came with me, but I'll get there. But, and she, but like I said, she looked horrifying. It was really scary. It really was. I was like, what kind, what kind of horror movie? Just like at the end, which I was hoping, remember the cartoon when King Triton finally comes around and wants to be, and he doesn't mind her being with Eric and he wants to merge the humans with the mermaids. I was hoping it was gonna show like, just like when she was on the ship and he kind of like boosted himself out the ocean with like this wave to like give her a kiss or whatever. But that didn't really happen, but you know, it, it, it shows all the merfolks at the end with the humans and Holly manages to shed one tear, <laughs> you know, and then it goes off. Anyway, I feel like I'm missing some things that, that I, that when I was at the movies, I was like, I want to remember this so I can compare it, but I can't think about it right now. But overall, overall, so my friends who went with me, 
like one friend was like they give it a 10 because they've never seen the cartoon so for them they're going off of i guess the movie which is, that's awesome right me somebody who was a little mermaid fanatic somebody who ariel's like their favorite like princess one of their favorite princesses if not the only one no besides aurora from sleeping beauty i give it a seven or eight now would i recommend it yes especially seeing it in a theater yes would i see it again yes but i would like to be able to fast forward through some parts that i don't want to see <laughs> and once again like it was just some parts that were on the ocean that were I mean, out of the ocean that was kind of like okay it's a little dry now uh -huh. You know, and I already said things with like the makeup, you know, they could have made it look a little glint. The wig was secretly bad. The wig was secretly bad. Like secretly, like, like when she was on land, they kind of kept her part covered up with a scarf. Probably because it looked really bad. <laughs> I don't know what kind of spaghetti they put in her hair, but the colors were a little, uh, it kind of washed her out a little bit, to be honest. There were a lot of new highlights, some beautiful parts some decent acting i feel like holly did um pretty good you know i, I thought like she did pretty good um in fact you make sure y'all see her in the color purple coming out this december watch the trailer she's playing um Celie's sister that should be interesting that's like such a major different role like this innocent little mermaid to like this like dramatic kind of like thing of like re retelling of the color purple i'm curious of what you guys think like who do y'all think stood out who do y'all think didn't stand out who do y'all think wasn't that good did y'all like sebastian and flounder and scuttles did y'all not like it did y'all like holly did y'all think she could have done better did y'all like the direction of the movie would there be a sequel i don't know because even the cartoon versions of the sequels weren't ever that good to be honest like i did like the part two because it showed ariel's mom and what happened to her but we don't really need it but yeah I give it a seven or eight. I would have gave probably a nine or so if it wasn't for those slow parts. But I definitely do want to see it again. And I just wish her much success. In my jealousy, yes, but whatever. <laughs> but I thank y'all for watching this whole video. I know it's long, but I think it's a good video. I think it's a lot of good content on here. Um, make sure y'all like and subscribe, please. And if you can tip, please do. This is a lot of work. All the tipping information is in the description box down below. Thank you in advance. And I will see you guys for all the Drag Race Raw views as well. Stay beat, stay beautiful, but most importantly, stay blessed. Kima Cho or Kamochi. Bye. I want to be where the black people are. I want to see, want to see them pimping, dancing around in those, what do you call those things on their feet? Chow, I don't know. Oh, Nikes, look at Bonquisha, she don't give two fucks, driving around in that Lincoln trucks, rolling up her sleeves, what's that thing on her head? Oh, weave, up where they steal, up where they pimp, up where they eat fried chicken all day, I want to be with black people out of the sea.